next up is the meatloaf. I get lots of questions about this recipe, and it's very simple. It can be tailored specific to whatever you like. But the main base ingredient is the meat. So, like a de meat. Like a de meat. Um, I've never made a meatloaf with this much meat before, so we're learning together, people. Um, I like the way you handle that meat, though. <laughs> It doesn't look like your first time. It's not my first time at the rodeo, kids. Next, we are going to take our onion. Cut it up. Throw away these end pieces. We take out this little outer skin part. You guys probably already know how to do this, but the Tiki's never cut anything in his life. I, I've cut fruit. <laughs> I've cut the oranges cheese. for my That's blue moon. I've cut, cut cheese and oranges for my blue moons. The cool way that I learned to cut an onion, it's easier when you have a full one, is to cut slices like that. And then, if you want to zoom in, put your fingers like this. My dad taught me so you don't cut them off. And if you go like that, then you have these little tiny pieces there. That's enough onions, I think. Alright, so now. Take our onions, put them in with our highly heap of meat. Um, you could also put garlic in there if you wanted, maybe some crushed garlic. I'm a little too lazy right now, I don't feel like crushing garlic, and I don't think we have any, so that's not gonna work out. Next, we're gonna put in some black olives. We're big on black olives in this family. Obviously, mm. if you don't like black olives, you don't need to put them in there. And you're missing out. Yes. Next, yeah. we're going to add some eggs. Usually, uh, I don't use as much meat, so I don't use as many eggs, but we're going to use two eggs and see how it goes. And if we need to add more, then we need to add more. This helps to keep the meatloaf kind of moist. We do like a little moisture in our lives. Yeah. We don't want no dry ass meatloaf. So, that's how I do it. I throw it in there. <laughs> I throw it in there, someone cleans it up. I think that tonight I will be the slave and I will clean up all the shit. That's what I'm throwing everywhere. Italian seasoning. As you can see, I use it often. It's running low. I pour a lot of that in there. We're just gonna we're just gonna use it all tonight. That's what we're doing. So we use that, and then also I use a little bit of almond flour. Sometimes the eggs make the meat really sticky, and the almond flour just kind of helps to make it so that I can pack it up and put it in there. So before I stick my hands in there, I'm gonna take a can of diced organic tomatoes. You put tomatoes. it in this, right? <laughs> Not straight in. Put it in, in that. Put it in the pot instead of the actual crock cooker. I already did that already. Shit, dog. I don't know why you gotta call me out when I don't, before I even, don't make a mistake. You were about to make a mistake. You. I saved you. you I saved you. Wish. Okay, next. You use your hands, I've already washed them as I told you. And we are going to mix the crap out of this meatloaf. That looks like a really good job for oh. your chef and not for the videographer. That's right, this is true. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like this, punch it, you pound it out. Look at those biceps and triceps oh. flared up oh. post, post workout, flaring into the meatloaf. It looks better after it's cooked. It's true, it doesn't really look that that delicious right now. No, not so much. Then I do the, the supportive role. You're doing good. You're doing really good right there. Well, I hope you're paying attention to this because you can make the next one. I'm going to have to watch the video. Okay, so I think we almost got this where we want it. Mixed it up good. It's five pounds of meat. It's pretty cold on my hands too. Okay, so next, we're gonna uh, we're gonna elbow this over. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna elbow this over. You're gonna You're elbow your face. Shift this a little bit. Get this out of the way. You You've already messed here? that up. <laughs> put the crock pot in. Put the crock The one-handed crock pot. Oh. oh yeah, beast mode. Crock pot with the sauce. What kind of sauce is that? It's just diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes, that's what I said. Okay, so now we want to get this kind of into, as I said before, a football shape, but this is so much meat. A meatloaf baby. This is like, we're gonna have to lift it up, 
It's just you want me to do it? Do you want me to move it? it? And then we have to shape it a little in the crocky. So, All right. watch this. Watch this magic. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to elbow this over. You're going to elbow your face. Shift this a little bit. Get this out of the way. You've you already messed that up. <laughs> Put the crock pot in. Put the crock in. The one-handed crock pot. Oh. oh, yeah. Beast mode. Crock pot with the sauce. What kind of sauce is that? It's just diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes, that's what I said. Okay, so now we want to get this kind of into, as I said before, a football shape, but this is so much meat. A meatloaf baby. This is like, we're going to have to lift it up. It's just you want me burst. to do it? You we're want me to move it? And then we have to shape it a little in the crocky. So, All right. watch this. Watch this magic. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. Oh, yeah. Looks like brains. This is huge. That's I've never birthed such a meatloaf in my life. <laughs> that is so large and in charge. When I ate that whole pot one time, it almost <laughs> came out like that. <laughs> so, it would have speckled olives in it too, probably. It would be so sick of meatloaf. That's a lie. Okay. I'm going to eat this meatloaf for two days. Okay, so meatloaf's in there. Alright. Now what we're going to do is I like to take can of diced tomatoes. I just need a spoon if you don't mind, sir. Spoon. Diced tomatoes. There's no salt added. Organic, or not diced tomatoes, sorry. Tomato paste. No salt added. Organic. And we spoon this just kind of on top of the meat. Oh, that's the best part. Yeah, I forgot to do it last time. So oh. I'm surprised you didn't complain about it. Well, that's before I was switched over, so I just put a shit ton of ketchup on it. <laughs> but now we are this is day one of our uh, paleo challenge. That's right. Day There's one in this meatloaf. of Don't 90 cheese. days of misery. I mean, pure joy. You're right. We got the loaf in here. Big bubble loaf. He's all ready. That's all you have to do. So now we're going to put it on low. And it's going to need to cook probably for about five hours, I would say. Oh. It's going to be a long time. That's going to smell good, though, at night. Yeah. Gonna I'm gonna have meatloaf dreams. You will. You'll probably wake up and have to eat something in the middle of the night. So you're gonna put it on low? I'm gonna put it on low for eight hours. Eight hours? I'm gonna right. see what it's like when we go before before we go to bed. Alright. Chobs, call in the middle of our video. That's what he does. He tries to get in on it. We're trying we're trying to shoot a video with meatloaf. Put it on speaker. What, what about meatloaf? Meatloaf? Yeah. Post a picture of it? Do you have feelings about the band or the food? Just be listening to meatloaf eating meatloaf. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Angie's effing life coach. That's the kind yeah. of shit. He's tried so hard. That's, my life is incomplete because I do not have that life coach. Alright, uh, so what were you asking me to do? We're back. It's meatloaf time. Here for the unveiling. The crock pot. Oh, you can't tell, but it's like molten lava of meat. It's meat on top of meat and meat sauce. I am starving. So tonight, I am going to try and consume at least a quarter of this and maybe half of it. Did power cleans today, so I'm pretty hungry. Got a good nap. I'm going to eat. We just wanted to show you the final piece as I serve it. Ever very so <laughs> carefully <laughs> onto my plate. Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That would be what what uh, the elf would say. She doesn't say about. She says a boot. That's a lie. <laughs> That's not a lie. I don't know what you're talking about. So uh, until next time, this is uh, the Magic Elf and Tiki signing off. Hope you enjoyed our videos. We had fun putting them together, and appreciate everybody's notes and comments. And we bid you adieu. Farewell. Au revoir.